Beloved, April 12, 2020, in dreams, I saw how many were taken by surprise by the current situation of this pandemic, and especially before the changes in front of us when everything was already foreseen. Death, tears, despotism, mockery, hatred of the truth made them close their eyes and be blind to reality. Many who today should not have been suffering from this event, they are for closing their ears to the Eternals, please. I saw anguish and despair in the one who claims to be his people, the people of God, but only on lips. I saw many who went up to the mountains long ago and came down. I saw other curse the message of the countryside, and now they were crying bitterly. Others who accumulated goods, and now this were of no use to them in the face of the anxiety of death and decadence. I also saw others who struggled for many years and under hardships and tears did not give up doing the will of God in the face of accusations and scorn. They followed the path of the teacher. I saw how in 1999 a group left and in 2001 another group came out. Also in 2008 another group left. And then, in 2015, another group left. And all this, from the big cities to the small ones, and then to the countryside, and then to the mountains. I was let to know that in this final stretch, many will move, but will come out for fear. A mixed crowd will come out. Only those who come out of conviction will not be invested with the first plague. I saw that even in the mountains, those who do not achieve God's ideal in their lives, that is, letting God mold their characters, will be rejected by God, and there the plagues will fall over them, and they will not have little help. Only the small herd that walks out of conviction in the footsteps of the teacher will be able to subsist. May God grant that each one of us who are wanting to do God's will come out, out of conviction and be in the places, in the mountains, out of conviction, not out of fear. Because when we know who God is and what he did in the past and that the same God of the past is the same today, we can rest confidently under his wings and walk in his footsteps. May the Lord bless you.